right shalom first and foremost I'd like to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh shimei oshai and i give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that do rule well salutations to the men of the whole plan since they elect this markers are from a trinidad camp just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake and the name of this lesson would be they began to make excuses all right and you know based on the scripture off of luke 14 but you know i just gonna jump around a bit and basically you know the idea for this video coming you know based off of the the video a day that the apostle you know gave for us to do all right now each brother you know have to put forth their effort and their time to serving the lord yahaba shimei Oshai. and before you fail to do at least try to do before you fail all right don't don't just make excuses well you know you have to do this and you have to do that all the all the obligations that you have in this in this life in this world are not profitable unto salvation but the work that we do for Yahabah Hashem Yahushai, they are profitable unto life all right the scripture said show diligence that they call it might be an election sure the work that we do for Yahaba Hashem as the scripture said in Hebrews 6 and 10, the labor of love that we show towards his name, that work is what profitable unto everlasting life. But the work that we do in this life, you know, the jobs that we have, whatever obligation and duties we have concerning this world, it's not profitable unto everlasting life. So we might put more emphasis on these things than to do the will of the Lord because as the scripture said, it doth not yet appear what we shall be. All right? The judgment, the judgment is set. All right? But the calamities, all the horrors, it ain't arrived yet. It's only when these things arrive, then, you know, some people gonna understand the severity of the judgment of the Lord. But before it reached to you understand then the severity of the Lord in that time. Understand it now. So that the Lord will deliver. Because you have um, kept, kept my patience. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Alright. Show that fear for the Lord now. So that the Lord will deliver you from that evil time. And not realize it in that evil time. This is Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren. By the mercies of Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So it's your reasonable service to present your body as a living sacrifice to Yahweh. And before you make excuses for not doing the videos, at least try to do them. At least try. 10 minutes video, it's not going to take much from you. It's not going to take much away from your sleep time. Yeah, we know brothers had to work. Some brothers have to work from 8 to 5 and they do strenuous work. You know, like I myself, brothers who deal with construction. You know, they, they do strenuous works. You know, but at some point, at some point in the day, you should at least have 10 minutes at least to do, uh, to do, to do something for the Lord. And if it's so hectic that you can't, hey, at least try at least try, at least make the effort. At least make the effort. Alright? It's better to fail and try than to try to... Better to try and fail than to fail to try. Alright? At least try. Alright? This is the book of Philippians chapter 2. Um, verse 25. It says... Yet I suppose it necessary to send unto you Epaphroditus, my brother, and companion in labor, and fellow soldier, but, um, but your messenger, and he that ministered to your wants. For he longed after you all, and was full of heaviness, because that he, because the, that, because that he heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick nigh unto death. But Yahweh Shemel shed mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him therefore then I sent him therefore the more carefully, 
that when ye see him again ye may rejoice and that I may be less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord Yahabashimashai with all gladness and hold such in reputation. So you're holding such in reputation. So Paul gonna explain it to you. You're holding such in reputation. Because for the work of Yahaba Shimia Shai, he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life to supply your lack of service towards me. So Epaphroditus, despite he was sick nigh unto death, he still pushed the word. Because he wasn't thinking about himself, he was thinking about the, the elect. So that's why Paul said to have such in, an, in reputation. So a brother who has a strenuous day at work and still getting to put in that 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 you know that labor of love towards the lord name you know you hold these men in reputation because they show you that they can balance everything they can balance they do daily daily duties and 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 still do it with the will of yahaba shimei and they did they, they try all right they're not failing to try they're not saying well you know my day has been hard when i come home all i want to do is sleep Nah, at least try because guess what? Yahweh Shai wasn't like that. If Yahweh Shai wasn't like that, we would have still been calling ourselves Africans and Christians. Alright? If Yahweh Shai was like that. Alright? The final precept here. This is Luke chapter 14. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 16. Then said he unto me, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. He said, Many are called, few are chosen. And sent his servant at supper time to say unto them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent made, uh, began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground. And I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said unto his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. Now you know what's happening here? When you start to make excuses to serve your Haba Hashem Shai, it shows that you're not irreplaceable. No, it shows that you're irreplaceable. Alright? It shows that you're irreplaceable. That when the Lord realized that you're making excuses upon excuses to do His will, where you are able to perform His will, he will just replace you with somebody else. Alright? You are replaceable. The Lord can replace you. Alright? Don't ever think you're irreplaceable. Alright? And the Lord said, and the servant of the Lord said, It is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highway and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. So I say unto you that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And with that supper, entering into the chariots, being delivered from the destruction to come and enter into the kingdom of heaven. If you're making excuses to do the Lord's will, Lord, you know, I, I'm tired, you know, after today's my family day, you know, I'm sick. Or for some reason, whatever reason, whatever fleshy reason for doing the Lord's, for not doing the Lord's work. If you keep making excuses, you're not going to enter into them chariots. The scripture said, let me read this really quick. I'll make this the final precept here. This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 28. It says, my bad, 1. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. It says, for unto you it is given in the behalf of Mashiach. Not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake. Alright? So to suffer for the Lord's sake. Part of suffering is be making yourself a living sacrifice. So it's not just you just believe you as a Hebrew Israelite and you just daily camp. You have to push this word. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 said, The things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, 
commit thou to faithful men that they may be able to teach others also. So you're coming in this thing to learn to teach, not just to hold posts. All right? Your zeal should be to teach. All right? And if you keep making excuses to, to do the, the, the service of the Lord, the Lord Yahabah Shemir Shai going to replace you. All right? So try to do, the, to, to, to do as well. Don't, don't fail to try. Try and, to, um, try and succeed. Go with the mindset that you're trying to succeed and not try and fail. All right? Go with the mindset that you're trying, but yet your goal is to succeed. Your goal is to do the service of the Lord. Do the daily exhortations. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahabah Shemir Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do real well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan saying, say, look, this is Makazah from the train.com saying, Shalom, stay strong. Shalom.